relationship takes two instead of one, that's why it's just not working out. Like, if I'm just trying to work on a relationship and you're trying to work on something else, of course it's not going to work out. Let's be real. Communication was... Bitch, I'm outside of some movie What is good? Diamond Knight and Steve Baby Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man Today we have Miss Tay Reacting to Jazz in their breakup, man So I wanna see exactly what's going on Let's get it, man Make sure you tell Uncle Joe he's still a hoe Let's get right into this video, man Let's get it Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome mm -hmm. to my channel if you're new. It's me, T to the A to the E. For y'all that don't know how to spell, okay. I am saying I'm back a, a, in another a. video. But this video, I'm going to be reacting to Jazz's video, <clears throat> what happened between me and Tay. Right. And yeah, I told y'all I would not make a video, but I would react to her video if she made a video. So here's the time. The Let's time has it. come. Here we are. I already got the video pulled up on my laptop. I watched it already, like when she first dropped it. I watched it and I texted her and I told her. Uh, fast. Yeah, I just now watched it already and I was so emotional watching this. So hopefully I don't get emotional watching this this time. And I'm just going to react to the part where she's talking about me. And yeah, I'm going to add my two cents in if I need to. I'm going to correct her if she's wrong. I'm going to just, you know, react to it, I guess. I'm not really a reacting channel, so... If I react wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not going to put the... Your reaction is your reaction. There is no wrong way to react, right? Video on the screen. If y'all want to watch the video, go watch it. But y'all just going to be seeing me react to the video. I'm going to be pausing it if I need to correct it. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started. I'm really telling people like how I feel and etc. So this is like, you know what I'm saying? Just bear with me. That's all I'm saying. Just bear with me. So basically, y'all, the whole 2020, me and Tate... We were basically kind of disconnected. We were disconnected, and that's why I was trying to get us connected. You can tell she was waiting to say something, okay? Not connected. That's why I was she trying. Was I was attempting and attempting and attempting to work on stuff. Yeah, but, you know, a relationship takes two instead of one. That's why it's just not working out. Like, if I'm just trying to work on a relationship and you're trying to work on something else, of course it's not going to work out. Let's be real. Communication was... Shit, like, I feel like my communication was good because every time I felt some type of way, every time I felt like our relationship was like on the verge of breaking, I would talk to her, I would come to her, I would do all of that. Like, let's be real. It's ass. Like, we were not communicating the way that we needed to in the way that we wanted to. She looked like she ready. To <clears throat> <laughs> she looked like she ready to pounce, yo. As a couple, and yes, as a couple. But I felt like back then I wasn't understanding enough because you know I'm be a bigger person. I would be you know a bigger person and admit my wrongs and say when I was wrong. But you know what I'm saying? It took me to like December to look back at the entire year and really like look at things as a whole and like divide it. Like, damn. Damn. Like, maybe she was. Sometimes you be caught up in your own mental shit that you have going on. And just personal shit in general. Sometimes you just be so caught up in that. And once again, I always talk about filling your own cup up. And imagine, if your cup is on E, how was she able to give anything to Tay? All right? Granted, maybe she should have stepped away from the relationship. Maybe they could have took a break or whatever it is. But... Is genuinely the hardest thing to do. Matter of fact, it's impossible for you to give somebody something that you aren't giving to yourself that you don't have. How am I going to give you some shit when I don't even have it? 
How am I going to pour some into your cup when my shit is empty? So I think that's the case and what happened here. Okay. Like, baby, I have nothing to give to your ass because shit, I'm trying to give myself what I need right now. So, you know what I'm saying? That's my opinion. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about it. Calling out for help. Maybe I did miss the signs. I wasn't even calling out for help. I was just trying to save our relationship. It's the thing. Like, I hate when people right. try to use, because I, I brought it to YouTube that I was depressed at one point. But I wasn't even depressed. Like, of course, I was going through some stuff. And, of course, we're in a relationship. I'm thinking I can talk to you. I can count on you to like vent to because that's all I needed was to vent once I release what I'm feeling inside that's making me feel any type of way I'm good but I didn't have I'm that good, person boo -boo. to vent to that's I'm how good. I feel I feel like with Jazz I was always there always listening always encouraging her always uplifting her always doing everything like that but this is Tay venting right now this is what she need need needed needs Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is exactly what she needed, y'all. I just, this year, I don't feel like it was reciprocated. Is that the word? Fair enough. Y'all, I don't Girl, feel like I just fucked like, up, too. You know. So, hey. You know what I'm saying? Because she person. told me, you know, um, we are not perfect. That she was calling out for help the whole year, and I was missing the signs, and maybe I was. I was. It wasn't really calling out for help. It was just calling out for... The my, person I'm my in, partner. in a relationship right. with. Like, yeah, it wasn't calling out for help. I agree on that. It was, bitch, look, I need you for emotional support, or I need you to do this, or I need you to do that, or I need you to care, or I need you to to give me some attention, or whatever the fuck it is. And maybe at that point, in Jazz's defense, possibly she didn't have it to give because she was going through her own shit internally. I don't know, okay? But I'm trying to see it from both sides here. But honestly... Maybe Jazz didn't have that capacity to be able to take on what she had going on or how she felt because she was dealing with how, you know, her own set of emotions that she, she was going through. And that's what's difficult in a relationship is sometimes you, I mean, life happens, right? So if you're in a relationship, yeah, of course, you're going to try to make that other person feel better, whatever the case. But sometimes you're not feeling you're so good, your damn self. Sometimes you're not feeling 100% your damn self. So how, once again, am I going to make you feel better when I feel like shit too? Okay? Or how am I going to make sure that I'm still feeling good and positive emotions and stuff, but I'm being influenced by your energy or by what you got going on in, in your life? So relationships are difficult, y'all. They are. They're not easy. They're not goals. Okay? They're work. Anything that you want in life is going to take work. That's why it takes work to make a relationship work. That's why it takes work to be successful. And anything that you want is going to take work, right? I thought, since we're in a relationship, I can vent to you about my problems just as much as you vent to me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm always open ears for you. I just wanted you to be open ears for me. But I guess not. But I'm glad that you're aware <laughs> I just wasn't getting on to him until like kind of the end of November, like yeah. Bro, Tay paused more than me. She been waiting for this moment, okay? She has been waiting for this moment. All right, that's a fact. Let me. I sorry, just, like, I keep stopping it. Something's off. I'm just like, bro, something is very much off. I'm like. Yeah, something was off. You felt like that because that was my third time coming to you and telling you, like, I feel like we honestly needed a full week to actually connect again, to get to know each other again, <laughs> to, like, you know, get back into that relationship mode. But I'm going to just say this, too. And ladies out there, I'm already knowing, okay? I know I'm a lady, too. All right, before everybody in the comments, oh my gosh, you're a woman too. What do you mean all the ladies? You're a lady. Okay, I get it. I understand it. All right, duh. Okay, duh. But anyway, as I guess the masculine energy of the relationship, I feel like, I don't know. When your lady is not getting enough time or enough attention or they have shit going on that they want to vent to you about, Sometimes, I'm going to be honest, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't, okay? 
all right, call me insensitive or whatever the case may be. Sometimes I'll listen, but, you know, sometimes it don't land. You feel me? It just doesn't land. But that's part of being in a relationship, too. You have to sometimes pull yourself away from um, what you have going on and really be in tune with that person and really be present with that person and really just be like, you know, tuned in. You know, tuned in to what that person has to say and stuff like that without it altering your own emotions, okay? And still making somebody feel heard. I feel like that's the biggest thing, man. When it comes to a relationship, a lot of relationships suffer because not only ineffective communication, but that other person a lot of times does not feel heard. And that can build up a lot of resentment and a lot of negative feelings towards that other person because it's like man I'm spilling out how I truly feel or I'm just telling you about my day or what happened at work and I feel like you're not being present with me I feel like we're not connecting because you don't give a damn okay so I can totally see where Jazz is coming from I can totally see where Tay is coming from too because I'm pretty sure if Jazz was going through something like Tay said from her words okay I don't know Jazz didn't defend her on this Jazz hasn't came out and said anything of course But Tay is saying, I'm always there for you when you want to vent about some shit, okay? Because let's be honest, we all go through shit as humans. But I feel like when I want to vent about some shit, you're never there, you know? So like I said, man, maybe Jazz had her own internal shit going on that she wasn't, she didn't have the capacity to be there for her at at, at her time time of need because she was trying to be there for herself. That's just what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, guys, y'all let me know. Comment down below. What do you guys think was the issue here? Truth be told, y'all, honestly, I feel like Jazz put me down when she put that camera down. But I, me as a person, I should have realized, like, dang, maybe she needs some space from the camera and me. But maybe our communication was off, and I didn't really realize that. But now I realize that, and I'm respecting her space, for real, for real. Everything. Maybe she just wasn't ready for a relationship during that, you know, time. Yeah. I, I understand. Yep. I understand. Like, I really do. I'm very understanding. All you got to do is talk to me and let me know. Because if you don't let me know, then I'm going to be in my head trying to put two and three together when it it don't equal eight, okay? It equals five, okay? Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Somebody's mowing. If y'all hear that, I apologize. No, like, we are not here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we are not here. We, we are not here. here. Like, we would be good. It would work out for a week. And then... Yeah, it will... Okay, it's a commercial. I'm going to watch her ad because, you know, I'm, I'm very supportive. That's something. I am. I'm supportive. But um, while this ad is playing, of course, we was not here. And we will get here for a week and then we will separate because... Why? Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. I tried to write down some stuff to do. I tried to, I guess we outgrew each other as a person. And me just keep trying and trying. It wasn't working because, like I said, I guess we outgrew each other. Like, it happens. It's life. Just communicate. Two weeks, two weeks and a half. We'll talk it out. Everything go back to good. I would say I'll work on this and I'm going to do this. And I guess to her, she wasn't seeing the progress. She wasn't. Yeah, she said she, she really was going to work on this and work on that, and months have passed, and the stuff that she said she's working on, don't get no changes. If the stuff <laughs> she said she's going to get better at, no changes. I understand change don't happen over time, and I didn't expect that, but it's like, dang, the change just never happened. It's like <laughs> the whole year went by, and the change just never happened. So. Right, right. And I'm not just going to be miserable, you know? I've been in that place where it was my lowest, and that's just not something I want to go back to. So, if y'all want to be honest, I called. I'm just gonna finish. I'm gonna finish the video, then I'm gonna explain what I was gonna change, how she wanted to see it. I don't know if she wants to see it immediately, or she also tell me like, yo, I'm not trying to see it immediately. I'm not. I'm also not seeing any actions. Exactly, like. It was at a point where she was just all talk and no action. It's like she was trying to tell me something I wanted to hear. I've been there before. But honestly, in reality, it's just like, 
And speaking from, I can't speak for jazz, but I have been that person to where it's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna work on that or whatever the case may be. And sometimes even knowing deep down, deep down inside, knowing that it's like, man, I really want to be about myself right now. You know, it's like feeling very selfish and very, very selfish because also I didn't want to let her go either. So it's like, okay, you don't want to let me go, but you don't want to give me what I need either. So it's like, now I'm just hanging in the balance. So I get where Tay's coming from, but I've also been jazzed too. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I totally get it because you don't, at the end of the day, you don't want to lose that person either because you love them and you care for them. But maybe you just don't have the capacity once again to, to be there for them like they need you to be, you know? Which I feel like the best thing to do in that respect is to work on yourself and take a break from the relationship or take a step back from the relationship. But that's hard to do when you really genuinely care for somebody, you know? So I understand where Jazz is coming from. I definitely understand where Tay's coming from too because Tay's like, look, I done been through this shit before. And look, I've been telling you that I need this from the relationship. I need that. I'm missing this. I'm missing that. And you keep telling me time and time again that it's going to change. I'm going to get better. It gets better for a week. It reverts back to the same shit when you get comfortable again. You know? So I get both sides, guys. And this is crazy. This is really crazy. Let me know your thoughts right now in the comments. I don't want to hear it if you ain't showing it. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I just feel like I've had a lot to work on. And then in December, she had like a little breakdown. That's where she had made the post that you guys seen. And I didn't know nothing about the post. I didn't know nothing about the post at all until... Yes, y'all. Um, In December, I was just to my breaking point. I can't even lie to y'all. When I say I've been trying and trying and trying, I was just to my breaking point. Because first of all, I was vending to you, but it was one through one ear out the other. It was just like, okay, now let me just vent how I used to vent back in the day. And now it's mm -hmm. just like... You too big for that now, Tay. Come on now. I don't know why I went to the internet. I apologize for that, but <laughs> it's like who else? Why, who else am I gonna go to? She know my situation. She know what I was going through. It's just like who else am I gonna vent to? But I do apologize for bringing it to the internet because that was just out of my character. That's just not me. I'm like a, a reality type of person. I'm like in the. Mm. Like I said, man. I've said in previous videos, ladies get the Twitter fingers. Ladies love. To tweet how they fucking feel. Ladies love to post Instagram stories on how they feel when they're hurt and they're feeling bad and they want to talk some motherfucking shit. They feel like they need to vent on social media and it just shows that they're being emotional. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? You're just emotional. Okay. But at the end of the day, like these people who are influencers, who people are looking, they actually have a platform and shit. People are going to put their own assumptions they're going to try to dissect the situation and all of that and the next day you might wake up and be like shit well why did i tweet that but you were in the moment and you were emotional in that moment your emotions took over and had you over here like this you know what i'm saying with them tweet 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 fingers so it is what it is at the end of the day and i always say man if you can keep your private life private especially when you are an influencer and you have a platform that's just my personal opinion the more people the more other you the more you give other people the power to say something the more it can affect your life because you've let people in on something that they weren't supposed to be let in on okay and it's not just one or two you know normal people it's one or two people who will know about what's going on with you and your girl. You know, maybe your best friend, maybe your homegirl, maybe your cousin, maybe your mama, your daddy. But as an influencer, you have thousands, sometimes millions of people who have something to say about what you have going on. So I feel like, man, the less opinions, the better, you know? Like... A human, I'm a real ass human, not the internet didn't take over my brain type of person. And I apologize for going to the internet. I just didn't have nobody else to go to. So I just figured out maybe Team Tay, I just had to get that off my chest. You know, when you keep something on your chest, it's going to bother you even more. But once I got that off my chest, I was just like, 
okay. And then the next day, I regretted it, of course. What I say, y'all? Ended up on all the T pages. What I say? And it was a lesson learned. Everybody okay. goes through lessons. It's like when I make a mistake, I learned that when I make a mistake, everybody think it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. I can't make a mistake. But mm-hmm. you're human. You gotta yeah. understand, I make mistakes too. Yeah. And yeah. Facts. That's why that night when I personally had got on uh, Instagram and. The great thing about it, like, that night when I seen it, man, I mean, it just, the argument just got worse. I just felt like you didn't talk to me before you had made that post. I didn't talk to you. Let's keep watching. But she claims she... Okay, that's why she ain't clear it up. I feel like what Jazz was saying is you didn't talk to me before you made that post. She's talking about you didn't talk to me about making that motherfucking post, okay? You didn't say you was going to go make a post about this shit. I feel like Tay is saying, oh, I didn't talk to you. She probably didn't tell your ass about the tweet she was about to make, but she probably did try to talk to you about the situation before tweeting. If that makes sense. Have yeah, been trying to reach out. And there we go. Been trying exactly. to call out for help. Exactly. And you were just too focused on you. And yeah. I understand that. Self-love, best love. Facts. You need to focus on you. And like I said, it's so difficult because when you have shit going on and stuff and you need to focus on you and you're in a relationship, it's tough sometimes because it's like, man, it's me or them. And at the end of the day, I know I'm going to get, get flack for saying this. But you need to take care of you first. But also, it's a very selfish thing to do to keep somebody in a relationship and not be real with somebody about how you feel and just string them along while you're doing you, if that makes sense. Okay? So that's my opinion. That's definitely my opinion. Sometimes it's better to let that person go why you focus on you, and if it's real, y'all will come back, okay? And they will understand. But at the end of the day, once again, we're going to go back to filling your own cup up. If I don't have anything to give you, baby girl, I mean, if I don't have anything to give myself, how am I going to give you something? If I don't have anything in my cup, how am I going to pour into your cup when the shit empty, bro? All you getting is air, okay? And that's when we blow smoke up your ass. And you know what I'm saying? That's Because that's all we got. That's all we got. It's just motherfucking hot air, bro. You know? So, hey, it is what it is. I understand that. But when you're in a relationship, it's kind of like you got to compromise. And that compromising part just wasn't there. I, we just needed to work on that, I guess. Look at that. I was missing a sign, so that was her only way of letting out emotions. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I told her, you know, I understand. I was like, okay, after I actually sat down and thought and looked back on it, I was like, okay, understandable. But, um, yeah, from there, we were trying to kind of, like, work on it. It wasn't working. Um, It wasn't working because your mindset wasn't in that relationship mode, if you want, if you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm, I definitely do. We were drawing ourselves, we were disconnecting even more, and just with everything that was kind of like going on, everything that y'all understand, we are real people, we got real feelings, real shit was said, like, you know what I'm saying? Real shit was, was said. Okay, let's get into that. When she said real shit was said, yes. Okay, that night when I posted that and then she peeped it, everything would lift. I kid you not, everything with love. I was just talking out of anger, if you get what I'm saying. And I guess a lot of people not used to me talking out of anger because the way I carry myself, the way I am, I'm very, like, supportive, loving, spiritual, all that. But that night, I kid you not, y'all, it's like something took over my mindset. It was just full of anger, full of rage, full of everything. And I do apologize for saying some stuff that I didn't mean, honestly. But... It's like, let's look back at it. What caused that? We got to think about, like, dang, what caused me to rage like that? What caused this? It's like, once you keep calling out and calling out and calling out, and then everything just keep building up, of course it's just going to explode. What do you expect? And I do apologize. I really do. I, I apologize for getting out of my character. I really do. Honestly. When you are arguing, real feelings are put on the floor, like real shit that you didn't know a year ago, or feelings that you didn't know was there, or said, so. 
it wasn't real feelings that were said. It was out of anger, and you know that we discussed it. But okay, let's carry on. From some of the things that she had said, my heart, my mind, my body, I honestly, I, I just feel like I couldn't, like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't, like. I understand that because I said some hurtful things. I was just like, I told you, like I said, I was acting out of anger and like, I wanted you to hurt. Like I was hurting. It's like you didn't feel where I was coming from. And so I said some hurtful things and I apologize. It's like, we're human. We all make mistakes. It's like, when I make a mistake, it's just like, <sighs> type shit. But let's carry on. I don't know. Something in me was just like, it's time. So focus on yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's time to just put yourself 100% first. You've been doing that. Oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, to get back to you, like, oh, you're not even you. Like. Exactly. And I'm glad she said she's not even her. And that's when I had that conversation. I had a talk with her, like, months prior. I was just like, I feel like you're not 100% yourself if you need to, like, take some... I, I told her this. I swear to God, y'all, I told her. I was like... I like you at your best, not your worst, not your this, not your that. And I was trying to encourage her to get to her best. I was trying to motivate her to. Well, at the same time, though, too, she said, "I, I, I like you at, your, I like you at your, I like you at your best." But you still got to be there for people whenever they're at their worst, too, right? You can't just love. It's easy to love a person when they're up. It's easy to love a person when they're doing all the right things. But will you still be there for me? Will you still be down for me? Will you still support me when I'm not doing all the right things? Will you still have my back when I am down and out? Will you still have my back when things are not going right with me? Will you still hold me down? That's what I need to know. You know what I'm saying? Because if you only love me when I'm up and you only love me when, you know, I'm doing all the right things, then... Your love for me is conditional. It's not unconditional. To get back to her best, because I like I like seeing her at her best. That's Everybody when I fell does. in love with her. Everybody does. And y'all, I'm getting emotional. Oh, I hate this emotional stuff. Like, honestly, I told her, like, oh, here come the waterworks. Like, pick up the camera if you don't want me in it. Cool. I told her to do all this stuff because I seen that. Let's care. Girl, get right it out, shout Get it out. Break. Get it out, Let's baby. Let's just keep watching because I don't want to get emotional in this video because, yeah, no. I don't want to. That's what my mom was telling me. So I just knew that, like, us trying to work on a relationship right now when we really need to work on ourselves individually, it wasn't going to work. Us staying in the same house while trying to do that, even staying in different rooms and stuff, it wasn't going to work. We needed that separation. We needed that space and i understand that and that's why i called it quits because it's like if you're not gonna call it quits and you seeing that Somebody we're just going deeper and deeper and deeper in a hole mm -hmm. i'll call it quits so we won't have to just try to you know right. escape that and Facts. get into a dark mode because like i said y'all i've been there and i didn't want her to go back there i know she probably been there too and that's why i called it quits so we can have some space apart to better us. It's understandable. But we well, like, need that space to grow individually. And um, that's something that I explained to her. And she noticed. And yeah, that's basically when she decided um, towards kind of the middle end of December to get her own place. And that's what we decided that that was the best thing to do because obviously staying in that house ignoring each other like it's just gonna make things worse it, let's be honest it's gonna make things worse and like i said we discussed like if i move we're still gonna be you know connecting but y'all this her this me we on two different sides of like a bubble type shit like, we're not here, we're here. Like, let's be real. I'm still processing it because it's kind of like the first time it actually came out of my mouth. This is the first time. Like I told you, I've been talking to my parents. I don't talk, I ain't talking to my own family about it. Like, I'm just so Yeah, real, because like, let's be real. Be real. Like, be real. You know what? I keep it, I keep everything in type of person. Like, I keep everything 
and like to deal with it by myself on that Libra, like, yeah, that's what happened with that. Like, nobody stepped out, nobody did no real crazy. Man, I don't know what the hell y'all was thinking. Stuff happened in relationships, and sometimes people grow apart, people disconnect. And that's where I feel like you should have communicated with me. Like, when you felt like you were disconnected from me, communicate. Just like I communicated with you. It's just our communication and our... Communication was way off on a half a point. Like, I feel like I was doing so good. I was... I changed that whole year. It was like I found myself. I'm like, okay. If I noticed something wrong, I would try to talk about it. I would try to fix it. I would try to, you know, get better solutions. I was trying to... You know, if I noticed that she was down, I was trying to uplift. But I just feel like it wasn't recipro- reciprocated. That's all. That's all. Sometimes shit happens. That's, that's relationships, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like we've been together for three years. I've literally been with that girl since I came to Houston. I stepped foot in Houston, and I saw her, and I I just couldn't nobody, like, tell me to not fuck with her. Like, couldn't nobody tell me to not like mess with tape, like you say, yep, I'm that was like that was my baby, like that was for real. Like couldn't nobody tell me not to mess with her, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, I just feel like she knew she, she, she was eighteen, she gonna be twenty two. I've been with her since I was twenty, you know what I'm saying? I just turned twenty four. She's young. Hard to discover new audiences. Okay, y'all that's another ad. I'm watching her ad. Like I said, I'm very supportive. Um but yeah. I feel like it was just, she was disconnected from me. And you can't force nobody to be connected to something they're not connected to anymore. Maybe we're better off, like, I don't know. Maybe she'll find herself. Maybe maybe she get what she wanted. I don't know. Maybe she get what she was, like, her goal was. I don't know. Hopefully, I wish her nothing but the best. Oh, it's back on. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn it back on. We just never had that space. We've never not been up on each other. Like, I met that girl, like, that girl moved in, like, would be damn near, you know what I'm saying, like. She said we never had that space. I feel like the whole 2020, we had that space apart, like. Hmm. Immediately, like, we started hanging out. But we was like this. But 2020, we was like this. And everything moved fast, and we never, ever had that separation. We never had that time to grow in those younger times like that in our life and I told her like right now we just need that time to grow and both get our mind right I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling drained I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling unhappy I'm saying and I don't want to feel any type of way in my damn self because I was just feeling a place where I just was not right you know what I'm saying exactly and I noticed that that's why I was just trying to get you to communicate with me for real, for real, y'all. Like, let's be real. Right now, I'm feeling way much better that actually happened at the beginning of December where we had some- Yeah, I know you feel better now. I was a problem, apparently. <laughs> but I'm glad you feel better. I'm glad. Like, I'm happy for you. On that note, y'all, I'm just going to end the video right here because... She just got pissed, y'all. Yeah. That's it. I'm glad she found herself. I'm glad that I figured it out. Like, I'm glad that she's in a better space. I'm glad. I'm very happy for her. I wish her nothing but the best. I still have a lot of love for that girl. My love never changed. We know. We, know. we just, you know, we grew apart. That's it. That's it. I understand. Like, Aww. for real, for real. I've been cry. happy. Like, i honestly been happy. Like, I've been finding myself. Well, I found myself beginning of 2020. I found myself. And... The person that I'm becoming, I'm very, I'm very happy with it. Like, for real, for real. I'm very happy. Like, Aww. I'm going to cry because y'all just don't understand. I came up. I came a long way. Like, came a long way. Jazz taught me a lot. Business-wise, I really do appreciate that. I taught her a lot. Spiritual-wise, <laughs> I hope she take what I taught her and, like, le- like really, you know. <laughs> Use it. Uh, yeah, Get it out, like, baby. honestly, that's still like I still look at her like this, but I respect that we need space apart. Honestly, I really do. Like I understand that. Like I'm an Aquarius. I'm very understanding. I understand. Like I really do. 
understand you're trying to work on your brand. I understand that. I understand. And that's what she didn't understand where I understood. Like, I get where you're coming from. And it wasn't going to hurt my feelings. Like, I've always found a way by myself. I always found a way. Like, I'm that type of person. If I see something wrong, I'm going to find a way for myself. I'm going to, I know how to maneuver, y'all. I know how. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm really not going to do an outro to it. So, yeah. Bye. I love y'all. That's what it is, man. I've done enough talking throughout this video. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this whole breakup. At the end of the day, man, this is a regular fucking thing that happens in a lot of relationships out here. The only difference is they are influencers. They are public figures, guys. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. Shout out to Jazz. Shout out to Tay. I wish them the best. Whether they move on with a relationship or they move on separately. Fully support what they got going on, man. I love you guys so much. I will see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. We out, baby.